This is the Nova 2, my second collaboration knife with Matt Chase of Hogtooth Knives. Uh, Matt is a incredible maker. He comes out of Massachusetts. He's been making knives for 30 years since he uh, stopped being a Marine Scout sniper. And uh, he's been, he's learned from some of the best and he's a journeyman smith in the uh, Bladesmith Society and he does incredible, incredible work. And it's such an honor and exciting to be um, collaborating again with him. He's become a friend of mine and uh, I, I think so highly of him and of his work. It's, it's cool to have something made by him that I've designed partially. Uh, this one I designed the blade for, uh, Nova 2. So that's the second in a series. The first is the Nova 1. Uh, this is a prototype with a giant logo and a few changes were made before production. Uh, but the Nova 2 comes on the heels of the Nova 1 and you notice the handles are the same. And they come from this original knife. This is the Hogtooth Knives EDC Tonto, an incredible uh, hollow ground Tonto blade that when I got this, I carried it all the time, all the time. So much so that I, I approached Matt and said, can we do a collaboration? I love Bowie blades. I'd love to get a Bowie blade on that handle. And he said, yes. And we, uh, I came up with this design uh, for that blade and he put it on the handle and, and boom, I know he, I'm sure he did some, some tweaking for his own uh, engineering purposes, but then uh, we decided to do another one and I wanted to go Saks Kiridashi route. So this is more like Kiridashi. Uh, but I was thinking I wanted something straight edged. Kiridashi, the uh, Japanese utility knife, traditional Japanese utility knife has a, uh, a nice point. We gave it an, an extreme point and it has a straight edge that, um, that is raked upwards towards the point and the point is in the center line of the knife. So uh, it's easy to access the point, but also uh, have all of that straight edge that uh, is available to you uh, for, well, all sorts of utility, of course. Uh, but you know that I always have a self-defense or fighting bent in the knives that I like, collect, and design. And uh, that's definitely what I was thinking of here. All of the teachings of Michael Janich um, and uh, all of the benefits of having a straight edge and a point like that uh, went into this. Beautiful uh, work by Matt. This, of course, is the prototype. A thin hollow ground 154 cm blade, uh, acid stone washed here. Uh, we got my logo there and his logo on the other side. Hogtooth knives, uh, and then really nice jimping. Actually, this jimping was done with a jimping file, one inch jimping file. Uh, but he since uh, let's see, I think maybe this one has it. Yeah, he's since. No, no, this was done with a jimping file too. But since he's been laser cutting them and they feel they feel incredible. Uh, but anyway, uh, you got some jimping there and this handle locks you in. Now for me, it's the perfect size and uh, it's got that rounded shape and it's it's just long enough. So the rounded shape and the just long enough helps helps with the comfort if you wear this in the waistband. Helps, frankly, with the muffin top. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't poke. In, in any, uh, you know, I got a little extra on the back. I call it my spare tire, and this uh, this is very smooth and kind to the spare tire, but extremely, extremely kind in hand, too. That shape really locks your hand in. Of course, I have it in a reverse grip right now, uh, but in this grip, too, it is so solidly locked in, uh, that, that sort of saber grip. Uh, in reverse grip, as I said, works great. You got a great place to land the thumb. Now, as I've, I mentioned often, my hand is about medium. Uh, sometimes I can get them into something small. Sometimes I need something large. So uh, basically medium work gloves from Home Depot. And my hand fits great on here. Uh, Matt Chase has uh, big meat, you know, mitts, uh, if you will. And his hands fit perfectly on here. And uh, I have a habit of showing off my knives at work and having, uh, there's one guy I work with who's got really big hands and he always checks them out and uh, he finds this comfortable too though for him he's got really big hands for him it's kind of a three finger with the 
Well, it's a it's a full four finger, but that pinky is in a, a bracketing uh, position back here because he's huge. Uh, but there you go. You've got a very, very nice point for thrusting, uh, but also for uh, detailed sort of utility draw cuts and that kind of thing. You've got a nice a sharpening choil and a, a good finger guard there so that your hand doesn't run up onto the blade. Nice deep choil there. Beautifully polished ivory micarta. Now, I, I can't quite tell through the viewfinder right now whether this is coming through as ivory or as white, but it's a slight off-white and it's beautiful. Uh, black hardware, very nice uh, contrast there and then the red. So white and red is the Nova 2. Uh, the Nova 1, this is a prototype. Let me get a production Nova 1. Not production, but we made 27 of them. And this is the last one, and it goes to my youngest daughter when she graduates. Uh, so here we go, uh, uh, eighth grade, that is, eighth grade. Uh, so for the, this knife, it's a deep forest green next to this polished maroon micarta and they're all numbered. And this, these will be numbered too. They're gonna be numbered differently though. Uh, here, this was the standard 25 out of 27 style numbering, by the way. These are awesome. A uh, little bit different feel than, than this. This is a little heavier. The handle was a little bit bigger on this. Uh, wider right here. Um, and he used, yeah. So these, these we moved the jimping up and uh, this this turned out awesome uh but anyway um what was my point what was i getting at um oh these are going to be numbered differently oh i have the wrong sheath here we go in that we will instead of saying uh whatever it is out of 27 uh we are going to well it's a surprise to those to those who order it's a surprise but uh uh, yeah, we'll have an interesting number system for this, and uh, it will be unique. Just like the handle uh, for this is unique, and uh, down the road, this will be offered uh, again through Matt Chase and uh, and Hog and, I mean Hogtooth Knives and me, as will this, but that's in the future, and it will be a different configuration. So these will be numbered, and only in this white. Uh, or I should say ivory and red, just like this is the maroon and the forest green. And then this one, uh, this is the prototype sheath. It will be just like this in that it will have a large one and a half inch uh, DCC clip. My tastes have changed. I used to like the small ones uh, better, uh, but I'm changing to the bigger ones. I just like the bigger ones better. If you like this for like in the pants carry, here's a little rough end. Uh, if you like this for in the pants carry, you can get one of those too. But uh, for the Nova 2, they'll be shipping with these uh, inch and a half. Uh, the thing that will be different is the color. Instead of this light gray, it's going to be a, a rich, deep charcoal gray. Uh, so the whole thing, uh, whole package looks like that. And um, I carry mine in the three o'clock position. Uh, I, I can carry it in um, appendix, but I haven't, with the summer, I haven't. It's been more comfortable in the three o'clock. I'm sure as it gets colder and I'm, I'm wearing more substantial clothing, like thicker jeans and stuff like that, I'll start carrying this appendix. But uh, I really like drawing it like this, or uh, if it's in the append uh, if it's in the three o'clock position, imagine this is your waist down here and you're looking down, you do this cavalry draw where you, where you just bring your hand around like this and then you have the knife like that, and you can push off that little thumb ramp. Um, but I like that, I love that uh, cavalry carry, I think they call it when it's pistols. So like the, the pistols down like that, and you draw it like this. You see um, Denzel Washington in the Magnificent Seven carries his gun like that and draws it like that. Uh, it happens to be a very convenient way to draw a knife, especially a big knife. Uh, say you have this uh, loveless subhilt fighter also made by Matt Chase very special production. He does a lot of forging stuff. That's his real, his real métier. Uh, but if this is on your side, oh, maybe I should sheath it, huh? But if this is on your side and it's tucked in your belt, say like this, so that you can draw it reverse grip like this, uh, you're, you're going to want to pull out larger knives like that in that sort of cavalry grip. You can see a lot of people 
uh, demonstrating that on YouTube with Bowie knives. This thing is so beautiful. He's a very talented knife maker. So when you uh, go to store.thenifejunkie.com and look at this, uh, it's not inexpensive, but uh, just know they're all handmade. So you're buying a custom knife. Uh, and you'll be part of an elite brotherhood and sisterhood, brother, uh, sibling ship of people who have the Knife Junkie uh, knives with Matt Chase. Uh, I really love this thing. I hope you like it too. And uh, uh, if you're interested, go check it out at the store or at store.thenifejunkie.com. All righty, guys. Thanks for watching.